Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Come to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God. A God who's truly thought of everything. A God who provides comfort and wisdom and help wherever we go. And no matter what's going on in life, we know that he's there and watches over us and has a plan for us. Praise God for that. Our word of encouragement today comes from John chapter 14, verses 1 to 3. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I'm going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you may also be where I am. Um, you know, what do those words mean to you? For me, it's kind of an excitement. It's a reminder. It's the words of Jesus saying that, that there is a heaven. There's a place prepared specifically for us as members of God's kingdom, as members of God's family. That when life on earth ends, as, as we know it here, there's a place. And, and when God's timing is done, that he will return, that Jesus will return and take us to be with him for all eternity. You know, sometimes on earth, especially when we're going through these difficult times, especially in times of COVID, especially in times of, of you know, job furloughs and layoffs. And, and uh, you know, for us locally, uh, our, our Boeing plant is going to have a bunch of layoffs. Um, sometimes we have... To worry about where are we going to put our head how are we going to survive what where are we going to sleep and in fact here in Everett and of course across the country there's many people who are homeless who who don't have a place to sleep but no matter what's going on in this life in the next life if we know Jesus is Savior there will be a place to lay our head I believe it's the old King James that doesn't just call it a room but actually calls it a mansion but whether it's a mansion or a room any place in heaven is going to be much more glorious than, than here on earth because when we get to heaven it's going to be god focused god centered god's way you know what i'm saying so how exciting to think that we'll have our own place that's been prepared for us that not only will be escorted in the pearly gates if you will into heaven i uh, get to meet jesus but he's going to say hey i've got a place for you i knew you were coming i'm prepared i'm prepared for you and i've, I've made it ready praise god for that now we don't know what that place is going to be like I like to think in terms of because God knows me so well that my place in heaven is going to be a little different than everybody else's. Different because it's going to be surrounded with my things and the things that I like to do. Um, you know, I, uh, personally, I, I like to get out on the water once in a while, I like to fish once in a while, I like to, to, to be with my family and, and, and do some different things like that. And I, and I like to, um, you know, work around the house and do some things like that. So. That's how I kind of see the place that Jesus is preparing for me. How do you think the place would look that Jesus is preparing for you? Because again, God loves us individually. It's not a all over, you know, well uh, over consuming love. It's all about us together. Praise God for that, uh, that he loves us so much. God loves you and has created you and wants to bless you in the way life to come. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you that this is not it. Thank you that this world where there's so much chaos and frustration and hurting and and just need thank you that this isn't our final destination thank you that we're just passing through but father as we're here would you use us to build your kingdom would you use us to be a blessing to others father bless those today who are hurting bless those in the hospitals uh, bless those who need your healing touch and just watch over them and uh, touch them and, and just give them your strength and your help bless those today lord who are facing layoffs and, and worried about uh their finances father provide for them father bless those today who are struggling emotionally those facing depression as as can often be made larger in the times like this father would you bless them today remind them that you created them with a plan and purpose and father for those who are struggling spiritually i mean those who don't know you or are wondering if you exist father would you make yourself known to them today father for whoever we come in contact would you light our hearts with your spirit May we become less as you become more in our life, and may people see you and your light in the things that we do. Father, we are imperfect, so would you help us and guide us uh, in the things that we do, and may we respond as Jesus would. May we act as Jesus would act, and may it bring you great praise. Father, forgive us for those things that, that we are struggling with, and help us to overcome, and we'll commit them to you. We commit this day to you and everything in it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. If you know Jesus as your personal Savior, you have a home in heaven waiting for you. Praise God. If you don't yet know Jesus, it's as simple as asking him into your heart, um, 
you know, tell him you're sorry for your sins and that you want to live for him and allowing him to, to run your life. And of course, if you have any questions about that or would love someone or want someone to pray with you about it, please call me or text me. I would be happy to do that. Uh, or I'm sure there's other uh, Christians out there that you know that would be happy to, to lead you down that process. But just know that if you know Jesus, if you accept Jesus, you have a home in heaven today. Praise God. Well, have a great day. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless.